come to what is likely the least favorite topic of most test takers as if inequalities weren't hard enough on their own we now add absolute values to the mix let's jump in so let's start with absolute values or as we call them the modulus function now there's another function called modulo function and we use the term mod for those uh, especially in excel so don't get confused over here we, when we say mod we mean the modulus function that is the absolute value function so let's start now before we define what the mod function is uh we'll talk about what it means actually what it uh, signifies what it implies so your mod x is distance of a point x from 0 on the number line so for example what is mod x equal to 5 what does this mean we look at it on the number line here is 0 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here minus 1 so on and so forth there is a minus 5 here a minus 6 here etc so mod x equal to 5 means we are talking about x gives us those points whose distance from 0 here is 5 so x which points are at distance 5 away from 0 it is this point 5 is at a distance 5 away from 0 and minus 5 is also at a distance 5 away from 0 so then x can take values of minus 5 and 5 here we say x is equal to 5 and minus 5 x can take two values so x mod x is a distance of a, of the point x from 0 on the number line yeah So then, how will we plot mod x is equal to minus two? Now, mod x should be at a point which is at distance minus two from zero. Now, can distance be negative? It cannot be. So that is why this is not possible. Mods mod x is always greater than equal to zero. It will always be either zero or a positive number. It can never be negative. In fact. that is pretty much what an absolute value is right that's pretty much what we think about it gives you the magnitude of x when i talk about x and i say absolute value of x i mean what is the magnitude of x now whether x is 10 or minus 10 in both cases its magnitude is 10 its sign over here is negative but then the magnitude of x is still 10 right so mod x can never be negative Okay, now mod x minus three is equal to five. Now, what happens over here? What is this? All right, so we have zero here. Let's say we have three here. We have five here. We have seven here, etc., etc. Say minus three here, minus five here, minus seven here, etc. Okay, now as we said, whatever is inside the mod sign, that so we have to look at. this x minus 3 will be at a distance of 5 from 0 right so x minus 3 will be at a distance of 5 from 0 that means to get x we need to move it to the right three steps so that now we can find that x will be at a distance of 5 from 3 not from 0 now right because x minus 3 was giving us a distance of 5 from 0 so we move three steps ahead so that we can get what is x x is a distance of 5 from 3 now right okay so then um, here is 8 now distance of 5 from 3 is what it is these 5 that is x could be 8 or it is there is a minus 2 here as well so this is another distance of 5 from 3 to minus 2 is distance of 5 so then x can take two values what are they minus 2 and 8 so then when we have another term inside the modulus let's say x minus 3 or x plus 5 or whatever we move the uh, our point from where we are calculating the distance by that much so since we have x minus 3 over here we go 3 ahead 
and we calculate the distance from this point. What if it were actually x plus 3? Then we would have moved three steps back and we would have calculated the distance of 5 from minus 3. Yeah, all right. So now, uh, what about this? 2x uh, mod of 2x plus 3 equal to 5. What happens over here? All right. So now we have a 2 over here. Of course, this is, you know, the distance of 2x plus 3 from 0 is equal to 5. All right. But how do we handle this 2 here? So first of all, the mod will always be positive. So let's just take 2 outside. We'll say this is 2x plus 3 by 2 is equal to 5. So twice the distance of this from 0 is equal to 5. Or in other words, we can say mod x plus 3 by 2 is equal to 5 by 2, which is nothing but 2.5, right? So now we have brought it up in the form of this, right? And we know how to handle this. So what are we going to do over here? We say we have a 0 here. We have now x is a plus 1.5 here, right? So then we have to go 1.5 behind. There'll be a 1.5 here. So we'll start measuring our distance from here. Now it says that the distance from here is 2.5. So we'll go 2.5 in this direction. We get x is one and we go 2.5 in this direction and we get x is minus 4. So then x can take two values. What are they? They are minus 4 and 1. So again, recap, what did we do? We just took 2 outside and divided it by 5 to get, in, get it in this format. Yeah. All right. Now, what if there were an inequality instead of an equation right here? So, Let's say we have 0 over here, we have 3 here, we have well, 2 here, we have minus 2 here, minus 3 here, and we have 8 here, right? So then, now x minus 3, so that is why we'll go 3 ahead to calculate our distance. We'll start calculating it from here. The distance is of less than 5. So less than, we'll think about it a little later. Let's just first look at what we mean by a distance of 5, which means that if it were an equality, if it were an equation, then x could have been 8 or it could have been minus 2. Right? The distance of 5 from 3 is at 8 or minus 2. But what does it say? It says that the distance of this thing is less than 5. That means the distance can be 1 or 2 or 3 or 3.5 or 3.8 or 4.1, whatever. But it's not 5. That means that x could be here or here or here or here or here, anywhere. But as far as it's to the left of it, then it can be anywhere over here. Right? And over here as well, the distance from 3 becomes 5 at minus 2. I don't want it to go up to 5. It should be less than 5. The distance should be less than 5. So then all these points are okay as well. All these points on the number line work as well. So then this means that x could lie anywhere from minus 2 to 8. But it cannot be minus 2 or 8. I hope that makes sense, right? Okay. Uh, now, what are we going to do over here? Again, let's just do exactly what we did over here. We'll take 2 outside. So we get x minus 1.5 is greater than 2.5. We take 2 outside and divide 5 by 2. Take it to the right-hand side. So let's draw it over here. So we say 0 here. We have 1.5 here. So we have 4 somewhere over here. We have minus 1.5 over here. We have minus 2 here and so on and so forth. So we'll see what we need. Now, 
So x is minus 1.5, which means that we'll start calculating our distance 1.5 ahead, which is from here. And this distance should be greater than 2.5. So now forget greater. Again, let's think of the equality first. When will it be equal to 2.5? It will be equal to 2.5 when x is at 4. This distance is 2.5. When will it be 2.5 on the left hand side? It will be 2.5 when it is equal up to minus 1. So then x is x can take two values. What are they? They are minus 1 and 4. If the distance were equal to 5, if there was an equality sign over here. But we want the distance to be greater than 5 We or 2.5 uh, over here. We want the distance to be more than 2.5, not equal to. So then what are we going to do? So then all these points on the number line, your 5 and 6 and 7, etc., all they will satisfy and all the points in between as well, 5.3, etc., etc., they'll all satisfy uh, this um, condition that the, the the distance should be more than 2.5. What about all the points over here? Your minus 2 here, then minus 3, etc. Et all these points will also satisfy the distance is more than uh, 2.5. And that is why our x can be less than minus 1 or x will be greater than 4. It will not be minus 1 or 4 because there is no equality sign here. It's only greater than. So x will be either less than minus 1 or x will be greater than 4. Remember, mod x is the distance of the point x from 0 on the number line. 